Now what this does is this adds the monster or creature. We're gonna go with creature. Monsters only spawn at night. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. Put that there, copy and paste, just so you don't have to type. And we're gonna put replace sheep with EXM. Now this 12, this number over here, is how much, they, like, how often they spawn. I'm not sure if that's in, like, like numbers on the map, something like that, some numbers around you. But that's, like, how often they are. I think the highest I've got it to go is 20. But you can just leave the rest of that, click Save. Next, you want to go to Render Manager, which is right it's kind of hidden there it is this makes sure that they spawn we're just gonna go ahead and take see even this even the zombie not to put in himself uses render bipped so we're just gonna replace this right here with exm replace this right here with exm and this is the size of them, since we're making just a person, it's 0.5, we can leave that. Now, what you want to do is go back to here, go to recompile, let it do a thing, hope we don't get any errors. If we do, I can show you, yeah. Now, um, what this is saying is it can't find entity exm. Or model exm. We're gonna have to make sure sources Minecraft net Minecraft source entity exm. Huh? Okay. Oh, I know where I, I know what I did. See, I'm in the wrong. Uh, yeah. Let's go here. To the exam, make sure you're saving it in the right spot. Um, save that file, save as, make sure I'm in the right one. Yep. And make sure these are saving to the right spot too. Yeah. Alright. So these saved in the right spot. These two didn't. I'm not sure why. But, um, yours probably worked out when you recompiled. So let's re-recompile, and hope we don't get any more errors. Wait for it. Yeah, this means it's all good. Press any key to continue. Now, to make sure it's there, we go ahead and click test game. It'll come up with this. Just let it load. Single player. I already have some worlds here, you can just name it, whatever you want. It doesn't matter what world you use, but making a new world is always good. If you don't want to wait through the night, you just delete the world, make a new world. But, um, if I don't see one right away, it'll lag. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video until I find one. It does take quite a bit to find one, because they don't spawn as often as you think when you're looking for them. So I'll be back. Alright guys, I was walking around and I realized I did something wrong. This here, and if this, if you don't want it to be a monster, if you don't want it to attack you, and um, you want to set that to animal. Um... If you do want it to be a monster, you have to put it in spawn monster list, not spawn creature list, or else it will not spawn at all, because it won't know what to do. So, we go ahead and set that to animal, and save. And, <laughs> that was my bad. We will go ahead and pause the video again, until I find it. <laughs> Forgot one more thing again, guys. I keep forgetting things, this is my bad. Um, it probably won't be that hard to follow. But, um, in if it isn't a mob, if it's an animal, it can't have attack strength. Because in Entity Animal, there is no attack strength. Um, public, void, main, whatever. <laughs> it's, 
yeah, I'll be back again. Well, I'll recompile just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Make sure it's working. Yep. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back, and right off the bat, I found one. Um, this is our mob. Really laggy. Yeah. This is our mob. Just a random zombie that doesn't burn in daylight. You can hit him. Oh god. Holy. There's some bad lag here. Alright. But if you go ahead and manage to hit him without lag, you can kill him. He drops the leather like we stated. If you want different item codes, let's just go ahead and save and quit and close. It doesn't really matter if it saves. Press any key. If you want to put a different item other than leather, because I just knew leather right off the bat, off my head, um, wrong one, you'll want to go ahead and go here, well, go here, and go ahead and find item. Just go ahead and press I, item, right there. Now, in here, looks like a whole bunch of stuff, but if you go down enough, all of these public statics... Except for that, those, yeah, this top one right here. Other than that one, all of these are the item names. Now, some of them won't work uh, right about there, yeah. All of these are item names. Some of them don't work. Some, Most of them do, though. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about this part of it at all. This is just a spare name, I guess, for it. But yeah, this has been a um, Minecraft modding tutorial. If you want more, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, subscribe, like, all that, all that nice stuff. Um, if anything, the next one I'll make is probably a, like a four-legged quadruped animal mod, other than just a regular person. Again, we'll probably go for the simplest route possible. But I will see you guys next time.